It's a beautiful day. You're enjoying a picnic in the park, a hike in the woods, or a swim in the lake. You don't have to worry about slapping your arms, spraying repellent or scratching your bites. Why? Because there are no mosquitoes in the world. Sounds like a dream, right? But what if this dream came true? What would be the consequences of a world without mosquitoes? Would it be better or worse for us and the planet? Let's find out. Mosquitoes, with an estimated 3,500 species worldwide, are among the most abundant and diverse insects populating our planet. These resilient creatures can be found in all corners of the globe, thriving on every continent except Antarctica. Not just a mere nuisance, mosquitoes hold a crucial role in the natural world as both predators and prey. They serve as a vital food source for various animals, including birds, bats, frogs, fish and spiders forming a critical link in the food chain. In addition to being a significant food source, mosquitoes also contribute to the pollination of certain plant species, such as orchids and cacao, showcasing their importance beyond being blood-sucking pests. However, alongside their indispensable ecological role, mosquitoes also bear a darker side. These tiny insects are notorious for their role as carriers of various deadly diseases that afflict millions of people and animals worldwide annually. From malaria and dengue to yellow fever, Zika and West Nile virus, mosquitoes are responsible for spreading numerous debilitating illnesses that bring immense suffering, disability and even death to their victims. Despite their seemingly fragile appearance, mosquitoes are survivors having roamed the Earth for over 100 million years. Through the millennia, they have undergone a remarkable process of co-evolution with their hosts and predators, continuously adapting to diverse environments, climates and habitats. The resilience of mosquitoes is not limited to their capacity to thrive, but also extends to their remarkable ability to develop resistance to a plethora of insecticides and drugs. This ongoing battle of adaptation and survival underscores the complex and enduring nature of these seemingly inconspicuous insects, highlighting their significance in the intricate web of life on our planet. Some scientists believe that the potential consequences of eradicating all mosquitoes from the world would not have as significant an impact on the ecosystem as initially thought. They propose that the void left by mosquitoes would be promptly filled by other insects and animals, thereby mitigating any disruption to the overall balance. Their argument highlights the potential benefits that could be reaped from a mosquito-free environment, particularly in terms of reducing the incidence of diseases and alleviating human suffering. These scientists assert that the advantages gained from eradicating mosquitoes would far outweigh any negative ramifications related to the disruption of the food chain. In contrast, a different group of scientists holds a contrasting viewpoint, warning about the perilous and unforeseeable repercussions that could arise from completely eliminating mosquitoes. They emphasize the vital role that mosquitoes play in maintaining biodiversity and ecological equilibrium. According to these experts, mosquitoes are an essential component of the intricate web of life, and any attempt to remove them could trigger a chain reaction with detrimental effects on numerous species and ecosystems. For instance, animals like birds and bats that rely on mosquitoes as a primary food source would be severely impacted. Additionally, certain plant species, such as orchids and cacao, which depend on mosquitoes for their pollination, could suffer from reproductive failure, leading to a decline in their populations or potential extinction. Furthermore, the absence of mosquitoes may result in the proliferation of diseases like malaria and dengue, as these pathogens could seek out alternative vectors or hosts, thereby increasing the prevalence and severity of such illnesses across various regions. In essence, the intricate interplay between mosquitoes and their surrounding environment highlights the delicate balance that exists within nature, suggesting that their eradication could have far-reaching and devastating consequences for global ecosystems. Some scientists 
also suggest exploring alternative methods, such as using natural predators of mosquitoes to control their population by introducing species like dragonflies, bats, or certain fish into mosquito-infested areas, we can create a more balanced ecosystem where these predators help keep the mosquito numbers in check. This biological approach to mosquito control not only targets specific harmful species, but also promotes a sustainable and natural way to manage mosquito populations without resorting to complete eradication. Additionally, researchers are looking into innovative technologies like mosquito traps that attract and capture mosquitoes without harming them. These traps can be strategically placed in areas where mosquitoes pose a threat, providing a non-invasive way to reduce their numbers without disrupting the overall ecosystem. By combining different strategies, from genetic modification to biological control and trap technologies, we can create a comprehensive approach to mosquito management that considers both human health and environmental sustainability. Moreover, some experts emphasize the importance of community involvement in mosquito control efforts. By educating and empowering local communities to take proactive measures, such as eliminating standing water breeding grounds or using mosquito nets and repellents, we can significantly reduce the risk of mosquito-borne diseases. This holistic approach not only targets the root causes of mosquito proliferation, but also fosters a sense of responsibility and cooperation among individuals and communities in combating this shared health challenge. In conclusion, the debate on mosquito control goes beyond mere eradication and offers a spectrum of innovative and sustainable solutions that can strike a balance between human health protection and ecosystem conservation. By exploring diverse approaches, from targeted species removal to biological interventions and community engagement, we can effectively manage mosquito populations while minimizing negative impacts on the environment. Ultimately, the key lies in adopting a multifaceted and adaptable strategy that leverages scientific advancements, community participation, and ecological principles to coexist with mosquitoes in a way that ensures public health and ecosystem well-being. So, what do you think? Would you prefer a world with or without mosquitoes? Do you think we should try to eliminate them, modify them, or live with them? What are the pros and cons of each option? How would you weigh the ethical, ecological, and economic implications of your choice? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Thanks for watching and see you next time.